Yeah. He said most people in the Arab world they attribute their bad states uh, to uh, the re religious and political leaders. What advice can Hazur uh, give to these people in order to achieve a uh, high status? You see, as far as the first part of the statement is concerned, it is uh, controversial. A cornet cannot fully endorse this statement. Translate this and then I'll explain why. Because whenever the leadership of whom they apparently are fed up, it, when the leadership gives them a call for bad things, for burning the houses or destroying innocent, innocent people's peace, they always respond. If they are fed up of their leadership, why do they respond? And as far as they are calling them back to Islamic values is concerned, without their calling, they could have responded to the Holy Quran and the Holy Sunnah of Hazrat Muhammad Why are they waiting for a call from their elders? Everybody is free. فَاسْتَجِيبُ لِلَّهِ وَالْرَسُولِ This is the most fundamental, one of the most fundamental verses of the Holy Quran. So what prevents them from responding to that call? Why must they wait for the religious leadership to support that call? And the verse says, Lema yohikum, which answers the full question. If they want to survive in this world with dignity, the only thing they can do is to respond to the call of Allah and His, uh, what should I say, His Prophet whom He loved most of all the people of the world. <coughs> Next, you are fully answered or there is a little doubt about your face. What do you want to find? <laughs> He said, uh, what, uh, <coughs> sorry, what advice can Hazur give to the Arabs so they can be awakened? This is the advice which I give. <laughs> it is for you to convey it to them. The Yubalari Shahidul Ghaiba. That is a system which has already been proposed by Hazrat Abdus Muhammad Rasulullah. So you are Hazir and they arrive. Do the work on my behalf. Uh -huh. 